Hey guys, Coach RJ here and welcome to our new episode of RJ's Math and Science Workshop where we learn as one and we learn with fun. So, it's a nice day today guys. New opportunity to learn another new environment to learn guys in our integral calculus class. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell button for more notifications and share to the others. Share the playlist to the others guys. Let's have a great day guys. So now for our new video guys, we will have our new lesson and this talks about applications of indefinite integral. Pertaining to our past videos, we always use indefinite integrals. Now observe nyo yan, it's because wala pa tayong sub, uh, well, sub numbers for the integral sign. Wala pa yun siya. And that will be our topic for the succeeding classes. Okay? So... For the applications of indefinite integral, we will divide this session into two parts. Number one is for the geometric applications and number two is for the physical applications. For the geometric applications, we will do Cartesian planes. We will review our differential calculus there. We will graph our solutions, if any, if applicable. And we will solve, simply we will solve easily, okay? And for the physical applications, we will use the laws of physics in order to solve the problem. So you better listen for the succeeding topics, okay? So for the geometric applications, as I've said earlier to you, we will use uh, the concepts of graphs. We will review our functions. We will review everything that involves Cartesian planes. It's because this will be challenging for our case if hindi natin sila nare-recall, okay? And before we solve, let us remind everyone that our format for our solution is given required solution. Okay? And always, and I'm saying to you to the applications, I will flash a problem there and we will do solving. Okay? So, here is the first problem. Guys, the first problem pertains to the function y when the derivative of the function is given. So the given here is, this is for the number 1, okay? The given here is the derivative of the function with respect to x is equal to 2x plus 1, okay? And we are also given that if y is 3, then your x is 2. Okay, and we are required to find the function of x at this case. Okay, so kailangan natin hanapin yung function y in x if this is your uh, cases, okay, or this is your initial values. So, how to solve this case? I will give you a spoiler, guys, in how to solve this case. A spoiler of the differential equations in the sense that we are using differential equations now. And this type of differential equation is a variable separable differential equation. So, this is the method. This is the type of differential equation that we will be using for this type of applications. In the sense that uh, we will just focus on the integral parts integral uh, portion of the differential equation kasi nga integral calculus yung natin series okay so we will just focus on the integration so let's solve now so we have this case 2x plus 1 so we will just copy do um, dy sorry dy over dx is equal to 2x plus 1 and as you can see here the variable separable differential equation makes us separate the differentials. So what happens is that we will multiply both sides by dx. So dy is equal to quantity 2x plus 1 dx. Then we integrate both sides. Okay? So to integrate both sides, we will have a, a solution of y is equal to the integration of 2x is x squared. The integration of 1 is x. Then we will put C at the third term. Okay? So now, 
this is our general solution for the differential equation okay so we are now given the general solution to make this one a uh, particular solution we will solve using our initial value problems bucket general solutions because it pertains to many solutions that involve plus c kasi merong mga solutions sa x squared plus x plus 1 x squared plus x plus 2 x squared plus x minus 1 iba-iba yan sila ng graph whereas if we select an initial value isa lang yung ating graph okay kasi isa lang naman din yung function na hinahanap okay so we will solve at y is equal to 3 then x is equal to 2 so plugging in 3 is equal to quantity 2 squared plus 2 plus c transferring out uh, to the other side this becomes 1 is equal to 4 plus c transferring again this becomes negative 3 is equal to c therefore our final answer is y is equal to x squared plus x minus 3. So, this is our final answer. Ganun lang kasimple ang ating uh, geometric applications, guys. And sa ngayon din, naka-advanced lesson din kayo. It's because this is a differential equation. But the focus here is this one because we use integration in order to use this one. So, let's flash our second problem. For the second problem guys, we will focus on uh, finding a function or finding the curve in other terms whose slope at point x, y is negative x over y. So we will find the function, okay? And it passes to the point 0, a, okay? So given, we will find... Um, the still we will find the function okay so dy over dx since it is a slope slope kasi of the line when we recall our differential calculus the dy over dx is pertaining to the slope of a tangent line to a curve so the slope at point xy is equal to negative x over y and this is at x comma y we are asked to find the function x, okay? Y is a function of x at 0, comma, a. So, how do we solve this one? Still the same, we will use the variable separable differential equation. So, this becomes dy over dx is equal to negative x over y. Since x and y are separable, we will just cross multiply so this becomes y dy is equal to negative x dx then we can simply integrate so the integration of this one is one half y squared is equal to negative one half x squared plus c so what happens is if we multiply both sides by two this becomes y squared is equal to negative x squared plus c next is we will transpose this one and it is a familiar equation to you. This is x squared plus y squared is equal to c. And this is the equation of a circle. That is the center is within the origin. Okay? So, familiar siya, di ba? So, we have a case here. This is a general solution. We have an initial value here that it is in the point 0, a. So, therefore, we will substitute 0 for our x and y for our a. So, this becomes... 0 squared plus a squared is equal to c. So, natira is c. Therefore, the square root of c is c and our a is c. Therefore, c is a. So, the final answer will be x squared plus y squared is equal to a squared. Okay? Or if you say y is a function of x, then our final answer will be y is equal to the square root of x a squared minus x squared so this i think this is the proper way because we are finding y as a function of x ito kasi general yan eh since we are isolating y then this is our final answer okay so 
Let's proceed for our third and final problem. For our third problem, we are asked to find an equation of the curve again. But this time, it is as, uh, the given only is the slope or uh, slope at any point. Okay, when we say at any point, any point x and y, okay? Kahit saan pa siya nakalagay. Yan yung slope. And the slope of that equation is e raised to y minus x. Yan ang ating slope. Okay? So, the required is, I think the required is the general solution. It's because wala tayong given na initial value. Wala tayong, if x is this one, y is there. So, wala tayong ganun. So, mapapansin niyo, pwede tayong maglagay ng plus C dito. Okay? Kasi plus C lang yung ating, uh, wala tayong initial value eh. If there's an initial value, wala tayong plus C. If there, uh, there is no initial value, we will put plus C. Okay? So, for the solution, we will still use the variable separable. Pero, E raised to Y minus X yung given. So, paano natin siya gagamitin? Simple lang. If you are given dy over dx is equal to e raised to y minus x, we will recall of our loss of exponents here. So, to recall, this becomes dy over dx is equal to e raised to y minus or over e raised to x. Then we do cross multiplying. But for this case, dx kasi dito is this one. So, yun na. Ang matitira is e raised to x. Ang matitira dito is dy. So, this becomes dy over e raised to y is equal to dx over e raised to x. And again, loss of exponents. If nasa baba yung ating exponent, then we can raise it up so that it will become e raised to negative y dy is equal to e raised to negative x dx. Integrating both sides. And as you can see in our rules of integration, the integration of this one is just the same to the differentiation in which... The value of this one is negative e raised to negative y is equal to negative e raised to negative x plus c. Okay? So, yun na siya. And napansin nyo rin, meron siya negative sign. So, we can multiply both sides by negative so that it will become negative e raised to, ah, sorry, e raised to negative y is equal to e raised to negative x plus c. Okay? And after this one, 1 over e raised to y is equal to 1 over e raised to x plus c. Then, we will do LCD here. So, the LCD here becomes 1 over e raised to y is equal to e raised to x plus c over e raised to x. Then, we cross multiply so that it will become e raised to x is equal to e raised to y times e raised to x plus c e raised to y. Okay? Then, napansin nyo rin na pwede natin siya i-LL both sides. Okay? So, this becomes e raised to x is equal to e raised to y plus x plus c e raised to y. Okay? Pwede natin siya i-LN. So, LN of e raised to x plus is, e is equal to LN. Bakit natin kailangan ni LN? It's because e siya. So, we will reduce. e raised to quantity y plus x plus ln of c e raised to y. Okay? Ito, pwede natin siya separate din. So, this becomes ln of e raised to x and the value of e raised to x is x na lang. ln of e raised to x is x na lang. And then, ln of e raised to y plus x becomes y plus x na lang. Ang natira dito is e uh, ln of c e raised to y becomes ln of c plus ln of e raised to y. Then, it becomes, a uh, cancel na to, ang natira y na lang. So, therefore, 0 is equal to y plus, the ln of c is c, then the ln of e raised to y is y. Then, we add y becomes uh, 0 is equal to 2y plus c then, if we divide both sides by 2, or let's say, transpose na lang natin itong C, it will still become C. So, this becomes C 
is equal to y. So therefore, this is our final answer. Okay? So guys, if you have confusions, guys, feel free to comment there in our comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, okay? So to further practice our uh, lesson for now, let's have our practice quiz there. Thank you so much guys for watching our videos subscribe to my youtube channel rj's math and science workshop then click the bell button there for more notifications and share to the others guys and shout out ka pala kay miss wens rosen pelicano one of the creators of our background there thank you so much for creating our background wens stay safe there and sana makita tayo uli. and for the viewers there guys sa walang sawang suporta thank you so much guys See you for the next video.